This video will be showing you how to change the fuel filters on machine models 718, 818, and 821 E-Series material handlers with the Cummins QSB 4.5 liter engine. Reminder, you can pause and rewind the video at any time to read slides or watch any of the procedures again. Please pause and review this slide before continuing. Open the engine compartment door located on the right side of the machine. Shut the fuel supply off with the ball valve located at the inlet side of the primary fuel filter housing. Clean the filter housing with a rag to prevent debris from entering the fuel system. Open the bleeder screw at the top of the filter housing. Use a 46mm wrench to loosen the primary filter cap. Remove the filter cap with the element attached to it. Place a bucket under the cap and filter to catch fuel dripping from the filter. Pry the cap off of the filter element. The cap is only held on with plastic tabs. Remove the o-ring from the filter cap and replace it with the new o-ring provided with the new filter. Press the new filter element onto the filter cap. Insert the filter element with the cap back into the primary filter housing. Tighten the cap onto the filter housing. Turn the fuel supply on with the ball valve located at the inlet side of the primary fuel filter housing. Unscrew the fuel priming pump handle located on the filter housing. Stroke the pump until fuel starts to come out of the bleeder screw on the filter cap. Tighten the bleeder screw on the filter cap. Open the upper engine access cover. Place an oil absorbent pad under the secondary fuel filter. Clean the outside of the fuel filter with a rag to prevent debris from entering the fuel system. Use a 25 mm socket to remove the secondary fuel filter. Remove the filter and place it into a used oil container. Please pause the video to review this slide before continuing. Coat the filter o-ring with clean oil. Install the clean side block off plug and pre-fill the filter with clean fuel. Install the new fuel filter and tighten the filter to 8 Nm. Use a 5mm Allen wrench to remove the bleeder plug on the outlet side of the fuel filter housing. Stroke the fuel priming pump until fuel starts to come out of the bleeder hole in the filter housing. Reinstall the bleeder plug.
Stroke the fuel priming pump a few more times to pressurize the fuel system. Push the priming pump handle down and twist it to tighten it into place. Finishing steps. Start the machine and check for any leaks. If the engine will turn over but not start, you may need to stroke the fuel priming pump more and then try and start the machine again. This concludes the video on how to change the fuel filters on 718, 818, and 821 E-Series Senebogen material handlers. Thank you for watching.